Poland has seen almost 2.5 million refugees arrive from Ukraine. My colleague Kasia Madeira is in Lublin in Poland. Kasia, talk us through what's happening there. So this is a student accommodation. This is a halls of residence, or at least it was until the local council, the local authorities and the local university decided to ask the students whether they'd be willing to move out of here so that refugees could move in. And they absolutely said yes. So this building, this is called the Helios building in the center of Lublin, has been turned into an accommodation center for all of those people who are coming from Ukraine and they're moving into Poland and are now staying in Lublin. These are buggies that have been donated by local people because of so many of the people coming from Ukraine are mums and kids. We've got a whole host of volunteers who are helping in terms of doing translation work. A lot of these guys are speaking Ukrainian and helping speak Russian as well, a bit of English as well. So they're doing a lot of translation. And through here, we've got refugees who have come to sign up to a new special card that is being distributed by the charities here that are offering money to the refugees in the sense of a debit card so that they can buy stuff that they need for themselves. So this is happening in this building. It's quite unique here for Lublin and for Poland. It's quite unique in the terms of offering around 700 slotties, which is around just over $100 a month for three months for refugees who are extremely vulnerable. And it's the brainchild behind an international organization, a charity which is called the Polish International Aid Center. One of those people who's working for it is Dorota. And she's just gonna explain, Dorota, so talk us through this cash scheme, this temporary cash scheme for, for the refugees that need it. Okay, so basically uh, we offer uh, bank cards to refugee families and each family receives one card and to that card we transfer a certain amount of money. Uh, the amount of money depends on the number of people in the family. So, for example, if there's only one person in the family, uh, she or he will receive 700 um, zlotes, which is around $150, I believe. Uh, and, um, and and the point is, is to give these people independence. Yes. So this is the type of assistance that we call multi-purpose cash assistance, which means the refugees are receiving money that they can themselves decide what they need to spend it for. So, for example, some people need to spend this money for accommodation, other people for food. So that also gives the refugees dignity that they can decide themselves what are their needs and they can also pay uh, by themselves instead of uh, receiving. By the things that they need. Dorota, thank you so much for just talking us through it. And that's the crucial element here. It's about giving the refugees who have often left with so very little the ability, the independence, the ability to buy the stuff that they need as opposed to stuff that has been donated. And that's what all this is about in this centre that was a student's hall that has been turned into a hostel for refugees before they then move on into something a little bit more permanent where they can get a flat because as I keep saying time and time again we don't know how long these people will have to be here for given the volatility of the situation back in Ukraine. Kasia thank you. Kasia Madeira live for us there in Lublin in Poland.